Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 64, Billing and the Underworld. Why the Underworld? Well, I almost got this bad boy finished, bro. Wait, I got knobs falling off here. Check it. So my dude Mick, he requested Skulls and Delta Blues, all of which CB Giddy was more than obliged to help with. Boom, look at that skull on there, bro. It's right over the sound hole. It's the underworld. I even spray painted this with glow in the dark. So this inside skull will glow in the dark as if you're gonna see it when you're playing it from the inside, but whatever. It's just what I do, weird stuff. All right, so super hyped. Got the Seymour Duncan. I believe that's an invader or a super distortion. I'll have to get with my friend Mark Foster from Awaken from Dormancy to school me on that with those big over, look at this big giant pole pieces, bro. Yeah, install the leather rest when you put your arm here. Super cozy, little leather work. This bridge right here is a utility pole. I used to use these for actually four bridges, but it's too high, but I use this right here because I was thinking about using a Rickenbacker from Bill Foley. I got a Rickenbacker, uh, whatever that is, whatever piece it is, to go over here, but that just looks way cooler in my humble opinion. Got oversized, Swag hooks from Zettler Hardware. Um, do you have a do it best hardware store? So those are not those are not evile horns. Those are swag hooks, and their design is to when you set it down on the ground, boom, it'll sit down without mooring the bottom of it up. So, uh, why is this here? This purple leather? I have no idea. I just think it looks cool. I might tie it up, or it might be the part of the, when you gotta use a strap. So today's triumph was, I went through a couple renditions of the skull, trying to figure out how I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it plain, I was gonna do it white, I was gonna do it black, but color coding wise, some of the other colors just didn't work. I think this works the best. And don't tell anybody this, but <laughs> I originally had this turned over, but my wife came in the room and she turned upside down and I was like, no, I don't want it that way. Turn it the other way, please. And then when she left the room, I went, huh, that actually looks better. <laughs> I got the skull slightly cocked I know we kind of think we wanted to have it straight up and down going with this, but I just think it looks way more stylish like that. So going with the purple, today's triumph was the skull installation. Now what I'm waiting for is the Kelling Sound harness that's gonna be installed in here because the dude from Kelling Sound, I'll put the information in the, the information in the link below i've always wanted to say that i'll put the information on the screen he has some special pots and some special tone circuits that he puts in his stuff and he uses color coding in his wiring which artistically wise i think that's just killer and with these cigar box guitars the reason why i like people who are color coding and do a good job is because inevitably the customer can open up the box and even look inside of it and it'll have this special cool looking treasure inside 
Okay, so this quick update on this as we're waiting for pieces parts. What I'm waiting for is the internal guts, but I believe inevitably these that came fresh off my EVH head are going to be the knobs for this because I believe Kelling, the Kelling Sound Dude uses high octane pots that are going to, that are smooth shaft that are going to require the little screw. See a little screw in there? That's another little, little detail you're going to pick up when you're cigar boxing. When you start getting on into all of your knobs, like I got these from my Braveheart box because they came, this came from J.A. I'm going to need to hit this dude up. This came from J.A.T. Well, how do I know? Because I'm a nerd like that, and I've actually spent time on eBay and Reverb looking at this guy's knobs, and I've wanted this knob for a while. So when I was at Bill Foley's, he had these knobs sitting in there in his knob bin. Now, I got them. My problem for, my Brave, for the Braveheart box... Kaboom, it's coming along. I finished the neck today. It's the next drying for it, but that's another issue. My point being is these, because everything's, everything's been rehabbed or I get all these odds and ends from pieces, parts from guitar stores. This, these guts right here, they came from Music Go Round. So they're really nice. We'll get into this in a later video, what this guy's got going on here, soldering wise. So it's real nice. That's the way it came. It was already pre-soldered. However, when you're playing this little game, this must be, I believe these are called splines. I don't quote me on that. How many little ridges are on this little thing? This is a weird detail, but not all of these will fit on these. For example, these won't fit on here. So I need to either drill these out and glue it. You can see how my dude's just like hand painting it. That's why these are awesome. These are hand painted. Or I just need to hit up dude from JAT and get the correct size. Or I need to change these pots out. So you have, I believe there's 24, let's just use the word spline for this, for our intensive purposes here. There's 24 of them. 16 of them or there's smooth shaft that could be metric i don't know dude listen so i don't know all the terminology right now i'm learning it the point is is don't just buy your little knobs here and assume they're going to fit ask questions because it's annoying if you're building something for especially if, for a client and you're super hyped about how cool your knobs look and you get them and they're not the wrong in the wrong size if you want them to get them to push them right on there and go boom i'm done so Billing in the underworld. So, the, so anyways, this is this is coming right along. This is gonna look so sweet, dude. Kaboom! All right. Now I got this guy's address. Now I'm gonna start getting ready to make him a bill here. Let's see here. Oh, I, I quoted him for the box, and shipping was free head off there plus sales tax plus the um, Pennsylvania tax plus the Ohio tax plus the restaurant tax his wife isn't feeling real well so take a little bit of off I'll take like 10% off for his wife's medical bills plus he's been married for a long time I'll take a lot of money off for of that he mentioned he is he has sent me a cool picture of his Jeep, which is cool. I added money for that. <laughs> Let's see here. Did I tax him to death? Let's just add a couple more taxes on here just because in the United States, that's just what we do. Oh, my dude, Mick, has been a mechanic for like 40 plus years, yo. And he just retired. All right. Let's take off like another, like, let's say 5%. And 
and let's take off another five. So right now we're about, right now, it's not looking real good for my dude Mick. I uh, hope he's got a lot of money saved up in his retirement fund. This is the, uh, listen, if you get one of my cigar box guitars, it's gonna, I'm gonna start my pricing off at at least that. And then we'll work our way down from there. I'm gonna go ahead and print that. Oh, I gotta, um, I'm out of, I'm out of uh, printer paper. I'll go ahead and sneak, I'll go ahead and sneak that. I'll go ahead and sneak that into the price of, I won't tell him. Hopefully he won't watch his video, but I just snuck in the price of printer paper. All right, so I'll give him this, this figure. I quoted him one figure. This is a little bit more than he may be anticipating. <laughs> but, um, he just retired, so certainly he's got benefits from, from his retirement. So I'll go ahead and see if I can't, you know what I'm saying? It's called disposable income. So he's going to dispose of his income into my back pocket, bro. See that figure right there? Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. If you want one of my cigar boxes custom built for you, hit me up. Or, of course, hit Del Puckett up. Hey, look, Del Puckett, he has a Patreon. Go ahead and, and start supporting Del. He's going to start putting new videos. Well, he's already putting new videos up here soon. So if you, if you haven't watched his recent ones. Dell, boss. I don't do the Patreon because uh, black sheep black. Do you have some wool? Yes, I do, man. My back is full. Hot sauce guitar kitchen check, checking out. Uh, billing in the underworld. Mick, got your box almost done here, bro. All I'm gonna do when the killing sound gets in, I gotta drill two holes here and one hole here. Put your jack in, and then when it's just all said and done, zip, zip, box will be done. We'll do a sound check, and we'll send this guitar right here. If Mick gives me the heads up and the thumbs up, remember with the hot sauce guitar kitchen. All jokes aside, if you if you contact me and you want me to to build you up a guitar for gifts for your dad, if you're a female, like a lot of my first sales were from daughters to fathers. Um, for any, anybody, if you want to commission a build, I'll build them, contact me. Remember, I've mentioned this before, but I'll build them for you and no money down and you're not obligated to buy it. I love making these. And if, you know, and I'll just end up hanging this one up. Uh, so, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, if you want to build, Winter is coming. <laughs> you remember that line from uh, Game of Thrones? Winter's coming. Winter's coming. This one came out so sweet. All right, so that's it. Number, uh, this is number 49. The Braveheart box is gonna be number 50. And what we're doing now is with the Underworld Skull. Oh. He wanted skulls. This is what he asked for. Skulls and Delta Blues was sort of the themes we're working with. So, CB Giddy sells these. Little pick up, a little pick tin. So I put my business card one of my hot sauce guitar picks in here. Uh, Del Puckett. He is he has a video on the picks. Check out one of Del's videos he has on picks. Check out his cool story about the Stevie Ray, the Stevie Ray Vaughn pick. And inspired by that, he was pushing someone else, Pick World. And so I contacted Pick World. And I had some of my picks made for the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. So I'd encourage you to do that too. I just got my second order from them. And then I had an order made for Awaken from Dormancy. Because it looks cool. So anyways, I have this in here. And this says, made in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Made a deal with the devil. <laughs> but, uh, yo... But you made no devil deal. Jesus 
brought you this, bro. We live in evil times. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen checking out. Now finished Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. This is gonna be build number 49. I just got finished installing the Kelling Sound push pull right here, which is cool. Check this right here out. Push pull. You'll be able to hear the uh, the tone differences more when it's not on big gain, barbecue gain, bro. Uh, I got my son here, gonna give it the test whirl. We'll open it up in here in a minute, but go ahead. overdrive the OD B3 so here's with it off and the amp I'm using so you know if, if you're not hearing sonic domination it's because I'm using this ZT little look it's about as big as my hand and I just got him pretty much all straight up so we'll just kind of go through here. So here's kind of clean. Volume all the way off. Keeps keep my. And then volume all the way up. Then a push pull, pull it out. box amp. But anyways, it sounds great. So there's a sound check right there. What we're gonna do now is plug in this phone because you guessed it. My little girls were uh, messing with it. So this, uh, the Kelling sound just came today. Here's the cool uh, handwritten, I love it, handwritten instructions. So let me find this camera, a good place to be. I'll take a peek in here real quick.
Now, for the Delta Blues sound here, I had two basic parameters. Delta Blues and Skull. The Skull came out fantabulous. As I said in the last video, purple skulls. You know, my, my wife suggested I turn it upside down and it just came out way better than the first way. So you can reverse this if you wanted to. It's already pre-ready to go. I didn't like the colors, the color scheme of it, to be quite honestly, on the other side. The other side is spray painted glow in the dark, but it just didn't like work real well, to tell you the truth, artistically wise. But it can be uh, flipped. But check it out. The Kelling sound, my dude. I'm gonna probably just gonna use his stuff for all my customs from now on. Can you hold this? I'm gonna thank my trusty assistant here. All right. Look at that. Bam! Try to get a good light on this. When you get this, you get it home, really get inside there and look at the craftsmanship there this guy does. So pretty much, can you hold that? Pretty much what I love about the way, what this guy does, killing sound, I'm sure that this right here, look, boom, all you do is put in your ground, your string ground. I don't know what the order is right now, but the ground, String ground, ground, and you're hot. And you put it in here and you take the screwdriver, this flathead, you zip, zip, zip. Can you say solderless uh, harnesses? Yo, seriously. Okay, I just glue this down, glue this down, glued it down in here. Everybody's happy in here. This guy's color schemes are great. That, I mean, the craftsmanship's awesome. So I've got it signed and dated, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours right there. 8 16 2021 BDAV 66 hot sauce guitar kitchen bam with that said sound check Kelling sound we even cranked it through the bass overdrive I love this pedal I run my acoustic guitars through here too this is the number one pedal let the boy here have that pedal because it rocks through his bass gear. So that's it, number 49, episode 64. I'm gonna get this posted up. Why did I put this purple leather on here? It's dope. Because <laughs> it looks cool, all right? He said it's dope. And uh, again, JAT from Florida Custom. This came from a flip flop set. The other guy, other set three over here with the. Uh, psycho knob guitar they came these these three came together and mick sent me a picture of his awesome jeep cherokee bro black and and red so i thought that would look really cool on here seymour duncan i believe that's a invader and not a super distortion i'll do my homework tonight and put it on the screen but anyways awesome so there it is hot sauce guitar kitchen checking out mick bro i hope you like it uh i'll get a i'll get a hold of you later and yeah about it done out the back door if you like it i'm gonna get shipping over here murdoch is he inside no. oh no he's outside taking a cigarette break all right if you want this guitar we'll put Get shipping on it. Yo, we got an order coming out here soon, bro. Listen, you're on the clock. You're on the clock, bro. Get it all boxed up. We got the boxes right back here. Oh, boy. He likes to smoke and be pet all day long. You, can't, you don't get a whole lot of work out of him, but if you want this build, bro, we'll get it in the mail. ASAP. Peace. Did you dig it? The hot sauce guitar kitchen is not necessarily looking for subscribers and for likes. Just glad you stopped by to say hi.